Why was Yosef a tzaddik called Yosef a tzaddik and no one else of the 12 tribes? We learn this from Gemara Sota. He's called a tzaddik because he didn't waste seed. It's so much so that when Potiphar's wife, the Gemara says, Potiphar's wife came on to him and Joseph almost sinned. He almost sinned. But then he saw the image of his father. Reminding him that if you make this sin, one day when they have the Choshen, for the Kohen Agado, they're going to have to engrave the names of the 12 tribes. Your name will not be engraved. It's reminded, he gave, he gave Yosef HaTzadik some Yerat Shamayim. Reminded him of what the sin is. The Gemara says he took his hands and he buried them into the ground, like forcefully breaking his hands. All the way to the point that miraculously the seed that was supposed to come out of that organ came out of his fingernails. Just don't waste seed. He's called a tzaddik because he did not waste seed. He protected his breed. The other 11 tribes did not protect the breed apparently. A tzaddik... We learn from Sefer Yirmiya. I think it's chapter 19. Maybe. Let's see. Ah. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 19. This is a verse I mentioned last night about Kiru, which we'll embellish on a little bit later. But from here it says, if you bring forth an honorable person from a glutton. So we learned that an honorable person is a tzaddik. Someone did tshuva. Someone did tshuva is considered yakal, honorable, precious. The opposite of Yakar is something that's as far as is, is obviously cheap. But here we're not talking about price. The opposite of a tzaddik is someone that's a rasha. So if you take the word Yakar, which is Yud, Kuf, Resh, and you change the order of the letters, you spell the word Keri. Which is what we talked about, which is wasting seed. The yakar, the numerical value of yakar, is 310. What's 310? Is the amount of words that a, a amount of worlds that a tzaddik gets in Olam Abba. <coughs> gets 310 worlds. That's what a yakar gets. You can figure out what the carry gets. Sefer Kabbalah wants to scare us a little bit more. It says that each time a drop of seed is wasted, there's a bad angel that takes the one drop, not the whole thing, just one of the drops, and uses it as a, as a hostage to give the Tumah more power against you. 